This is a list of all orbital launches made by the Long March series of carrier rockets. Launch attempts aborted or scrubbed before liftoff, including ones such as the attempt to launch a Long March 2E with Optus B-1 on of March 1992, where the engines were ignited but shut down on the pad, are not included. Launches made with the related Fung Bao-1 carrier rocket are not included. Topic. Launch statistics Rockets from the Long March family have accumulated 303 launches as of 30 April 2019. Of these, 288 were successful, 8 were failures, and 7 were partial failures. The cumulative success rate is 95%. Topic. Anomalies and failures A success is a launch that deploys all payloads into the correct orbit without damage. The launch vehicle may experience an anomaly that does not affect the mission. The payload may experience an anomaly that was not caused by the launch. On 29 November 1994, the Long March 3A successfully deployed CHINASAT-5 into geosynchronous transfer orbit. However, the satellite failed to reach geostationary orbit due to a propellant leak. On 3 November 2016, the Long March 5 experienced an anomaly in the second stage, failing to deploy the stack into the correct geosynchronous transfer orbit. However, the third stage was able to compensate for the performance shortfall with a longer burn. A partial failure is a launch that reaches orbit, but at least one payload was not deployed into the correct orbit without damage. After a partial failure, a satellite may operate at reduced functionality or with a reduced lifetime. A common type of partial failure occurs when a satellite is deployed into a lower than intended orbit. The satellite can maneuver with its own propulsion system to reach the correct orbit, but this reduces the fuel available for station keeping and shortens its operational life. On 29 January 1984, the maiden launch of the Long March 3rd failed to reach geosynchronous transfer orbit. On 28 December 1991, the Long March 3rd failed to deploy the payload into geosynchronous transfer orbit. On 28 November 1995, the Long March 2E damaged ASIASAT-2 by subjecting it to excessive forces during the launch. The satellite was unable to broadcast to its full coverage area. On 18 August 1996, the Long March 3rd failed to deploy the payload into geosynchronous transfer orbit. On 31 August 2009, the Long March 3B failed to deploy the payload into geosynchronous transfer orbit. The satellite reached the intended orbit with its own propulsion system. On 28 December 2016, the Long March 2D failed to deploy the payloads into sun-synchronous orbit. The primary payloads reached the correct orbit with their own propulsion systems, but the secondary payload had no propulsion system and re-entered two months later. On 18 June 2017, the Long March 3B failed to deploy China's R9A into geosynchronous transfer orbit. The satellite maneuvered 10 times over a one month period to reach the correct orbit. A failure is a launch that destroys the satellite or does not deploy it into Earth orbit. On 5 November 1974, the Long March 2nd lost control during its maiden launch. On 21 December 1992, the Long March 2E experienced a structural failure of the payload fairing, destroying the Optus B-2 communications satellite. On 25 January 1995, the Long March 2E experienced another structural failure in the payload fairing, destroying the Appstar 2 communications satellite. On 14 February 1996, the Long March 3B lost its guidance platform and veered off course, hitting a nearby village and killing at least six people. On 18 August 2011, the Long March 2C lost attitude control. On 9 December 2013, the Long March 4B experienced an early shutdown of its third stage and failed to reach orbit. On 31 August 2016, the Long March 4C failed to reach orbit. On 2 July 2017, the Long March 5 experienced an anomaly in its first stage and failed to reach orbit. <laughs> <laughs> Launch history <laughs>